This is a breathtaking R1M. It's not a pure monoblock caliper because it's bolted together, so it is two pieces. Your good buddy 650E here, and welcome to another episode of the New Bike Build Series. This is the series where we take this beautiful 2018 Yamaha R1M, we break it down as you see it in this state right now, and then with the help of our channel sponsors, we add some amazing parts to this motorcycle. At the end of the build series, we are giving this bike away to one of you amazing people viewing the video, information on how you might win this motorcycle is in the description. Lots and lots of parts have already been installed on this motorcycle, but if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, tap the bell so you can be notified when new content is uploaded. In today's episode, we're gonna to continue to add some breathtakingly amazing parts to this wonderful machine, and that's gonna consist of a Brembo braking system. So once this bike's done, it will have a full, complete Brembo braking system. It already has Brembo rotors. Today's episode, we're gonna install Brembo calipers. And we're also gonna put on this motorcycle some amazing carbon fiber brake lines, which I think will be outstanding. And then later on in a subsequent episode, we will install a Brembo master cylinder. And then we, meaning Zach, will bleed the brakes on this awesome machine. The bike's coming along very well, as you see here. I'm not, I know it doesn't look like an R1M because most of the fairings are removed right now, but I assure you, this is a breathtaking R1M. One of my favorite bikes. I've owned one since 2015, and this is a 2018 model. And there's Zach right there. How's it going? Hey. Just checking out some info on the uh, friend tubo carbon fiber brake lines that we're going to be installing. Okay. So when you look at them, like what we can see here is it looks kind of just like cloth covered. Yes. But then underneath this cloth must be uh, two double carbon fiber braiding, it says. Oh, wow. Not stainless, no other material, but double carbon fiber braiding. And they have the highest burst rate pressure out of any other line in the market, over 16,000 PSI. And a uh, good reason to change them is it says it offers some of the most direct brake feel, which is what we're always looking for. Yes. That's what the rest of our Brembo components are going to help with. They definitely did on the S1000. They had some awesome front brakes. I agree. Done. Yep. Best feeling on a street bike. We'll get the calipers on today. We have these awesome Brembo. I believe these are the GP4RX calipers. Oh, yeah. The same ones we put on Gary's bike, Yes, huh? same ones. So they're going to give us that same great feel because mm -hmm. of the... Uh, it's not a pure, pure monoblock caliper because it's bolted together. So sure. it is two pieces. So there's a little room for flex there, but with the billet construction and machining and this nickel coating, it really uh, it's minimal compared to what we're taking off. Not to mention the added bling. Yes. <laughs> and they're directional. <sighs> So we'll get them on, and then to control it all, we need the master cylinder, because this is what feeds the pressure down to the brake calipers. We have the awesome RCS Corsa Corda from Brembo, where you can adjust the pivot point on the lever, you can adjust the lever span itself, and you can adjust the um, feel for your brakes, whether they bite harder or more linear, just with the flick of this lever here. Outstanding. You have race, street, and neutral, I believe, are your three settings. Okay. And they definitely made a difference on the other bike. I'm sure they will on this one, too. Yes. So, hopefully all our components play together nicely. We do have uh, a banjo bolt there. We'll have to see what this kit comes with. Uh, we have the mounting hardware for the calipers. We also have a TWM aluminum clutch lever, which you might as well put on so both our levers sure. will match. It looks an awful lot like the Brembo one, as you I can like see. I like that. Yes, it does. And it's also adjustable. You can adjust the span with separately from your clutch free play, which is always nice. Yes. Sometimes you can't do that. I, actually, I think the ones we were putting on the S1000, you couldn't do that. So that's kind of cool. But enough talking, let's get going and start taking some stuff off. So first thing we're gonna do is get all the brake fluid out of this system. 
Well, that was quick getting the fluid out. Yep. We're going to stop, but there's still a bunch of fluid in our lines and in the caliper, so we have to open up our bleeders on the caliper and suck the rest of the fluid out. Also squeeze the lever because there's a ton of air in there, it doesn't matter, we just want all the fluid out. Okay. That way it won't drip anywhere because brake fluid is highly paint. corrosive, isn't yep. it? We have new uh, bolts and brush washers in our brake line kit, so okay. we're not gonna have to reuse any of that. So now we got the brake lines off, we can just loosen up our caliper bolts. Oh boy! Yeah! And Is that going to corrode you? No, I think I'll be alright. Okay. Maybe just a little stain, but that's alright. That's why we wear work clothes. Yes. So you can see this is a four piston caliper. Mm -hmm. This is monoblock style, so it's all forged out of one piece of aluminum, so that's nice. It shouldn't uh, twist or... Yeah. Anything even once it gets hot. I don't know who makes these. Reflectors off? Reflectors off. I don't know if we can leave them off or not. But we'll have to see if they're part of this brake line routing or not. And they're all connected together. It's kind of weird. So one line comes down from the master cylinder and goes to a block. And then that block is fed from the ABS box, I believe. That's pretty weird. Oh, it goes from the master cylinder to the ABS box, maybe. And then it must come back. And then it must come back forward. Interesting. Routing here. Did I hear you say it's free? Yes, after a little bit of a fight there. <laughs> oh, man. Looks like we got a little connector for the wire right here. Just a little clamp. Okay. So this is our line that goes between the two calipers. Okay. Stubborn a little something. Yeah. This is what we're going to be replacing it with. So you can see it's about the same size, so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It has the locating the rubber locators on it already. And this is going to attach to the motorcycle. The only thing that's weird is that's going to go up, so this, this is actually going to look like this. All right. Well, that's good, and then we can choose the end we need to go to our Brembo caliper. So that'll be nice, because using the stock brake lines with those Brembo calipers, you're kind of twisting and turning that yes. line a little more than I'd like to. But it is possible, and this is kind of a pain. And then hopefully we're going to have to check. We don't have to bleed our ABS box separately, because you need the Yamaha tool for that, unless we can find something online. But we'll deal with that when we get there. We're fresh from taking the other one off, and I know which brake line goes to which, I'm going to install our new front splitter line up here. Put the rag back on the fender. Just so we don't scratch it. Okay, so the friend tubo lines are not threaded like the factory ones were, so they send a nice array of hardware that you can use to mount it up. We'll just put a bolt and a nut on it instead. Okay. And that'll hold it in position, and then we can do the final tightening of the steel line to that distribution block. Now our brake line is installed that'll go to each new caliper. In fact, let's go ahead and we'll pop those calipers on and mock these lines up here. Just like that, and we'll use the same torque spec as the factory bolt, which is most likely 38 newton meters. Pretty much all the calipers that mount this way are right around 3840. Cool. Well, those are mounted up, so now let's just select the end we need for our brake line. All right, so we were looking, the line that goes to our master cylinder actually had a removable fitting, okay. and it had a straight fitting in it. So it looks like the straight fittings are going to work the best. Okay. So what I'm going to do is loosely put the straight fitting here, loosely put this guide on, minus our reflector, yes. and uh, <laughs> grab a banjo bolt and two crush washers. It came with these nice aluminum bolts. Aluminium? Yes. All right. And that should be that. So, 
next thing, last thing we're going to want to do is just make sure our front wheel still spins. Okay. And then we'll be good to move on to installing the rest of the brake lines in the master cylinder. It spins. It spins. Nothing's rubbing or grinding. The only thing we hear is the rotor falling. Uh huh. But yeah, so definitely no clearance issues. That's awesome. And then this will be our final test once we get them blood out. We'll make sure they actually work. Sweet. But yeah, so far success. Let's take a look, see what it looks like. Oh, it yeah. looks outstanding. Looks great. It's coming. No along. attention drawn to the brake lines. They're just kind of there in the background. Yep. Your eyes just drawn to the caliper and the blue on the wheel. Nice. I like it. Me too, man. Plus, it should feel awesome at the lever. All right, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Well, I think that's a good amount of stuff for today. I think that's, so, uh, man. Yeah, we'll wrap this up and come back next time and finish up the brake system. Thanks okay. for watching. Have a good day, everyone. Cool. Thanks, Zach. We'll catch you later. And he's right. We did accomplish a lot in this episode of the new bike build series. Brand new Brembo calipers, carbon fiber brake lines yep. were installed, replacing the steel braided lines. Right, Zach? Yep. Yeah, I think they look great. Looks like you need a better brake. So we shall see. Yeah, looking forward to that, man. All right, you can still support the new bike build series. Information on how to do that is in the description. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, tap the bell so you can be notified when new content is uploaded. Somebody's gonna be really happy when this bike's put back together and they actually win this machine, which is gonna happen really soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for viewing the new bike build series. We'll catch you next time from Sills Motor Sales. Filthy Cleveland.